Greetings, everybody, and welcome to the most anticipated. No, not really. It is the results show of the 2020 glitched out gaming fantasy draft. That's right, as most of you may know who actually listen to these videos, myself and DC Redia once again selected 10 games, two substitution games. And competed to see who could get the highest score throughout the year. 2020 was a unique year because, who boy, did we get some uh, delays and unknown release dates still. There's a lot here. I advise you not to take a shot every time I say delayed or release unknown because you will need medical help by the end of this video. So, without further, and of course, we did have two listener picks here as well. We got Emperor Eric and Ozzy Legend back once again with us. But let's get to the main draft here first. And of course, folks, uh, at the end here, I will be announcing what we're doing for 2021. It's a tad different this time. All right, so first, a lot of picks. Let's uh, let's go down. Through, well, I got mine here up first in order here. So, for me, my first pick, of course, was The Last of Us Part 2. That scored a 94 on PlayStation 4. My pick number two was Cyberpunk 2077. And if we're going to, if we did do an average here, I would have been screwed. But of course, we go with the top rated version from Metacritic which was, of course, the PC version, which scored an 87. Number three on my list was Animal Crossing New Horizons, which got a 92 on the Nintendo Switch. Number four, Half-Life Alex, with a 93 on PC. Number five, Ghost of Tsushima, with an 83 on PlayStation 4. Criminally underrated, if you ask me. Next up, number six, I had Hellblade 2, Senua Saga, Hellblade 2, and Release Unknown. Of course, uh, the next game got confirmed delayed first, and that was Halo Infinite, with a uh, delay to 2021, I believe fall of 2021 now. So in its place went Gears Tactics with an 81 on PC. Number 8, I had Doom Eternal with an 89 on PC and Xbox One. Number, ooh, sorry, number 9, I had Wasteland 3 with an 85 on PC. And finally, at number 10, I had Bravely Default 2, which got delayed to 2021. Still can't believe uh, <laughs> I got that one at the very end. That was crazy. All right, and my other sub pick, Tales of Arise got delayed to 2021 as well. So my total score was 704 for an average of 70.4. Moving on to DC Redia. Number one, he had Ori and the Will of the Wisp, which got a 90 on Xbox One. Number two, Final Fantasy VII Remake with an 87 on PlayStation 4. Number three, Resident Evil Free with an 85 on Xbox One. Number four, Yakuza Like a Dragon with an 89 on Xbox One. Number five, Neo 2 with an 85 on PlayStation 4. Number six, Dragon Ball Z Kakarot with a 74 on PC. Uh, his number seventh pick, No More Heroes 3, got delayed to 2021. As well as his number 8 pick, Vampire the Masquerade Bloodlines 2, got delayed to 2021. So, in their places, is sub pick number 2, which, uh, yes, No More Heroes 3 got delayed second. So, sub 2 pick Dreams released with an 88 on PlayStation 4, which, that was an awesome sub pick there by DC Rodaya. And his first substitution pick, Marvel's Avengers got a 68 on PC. His number 9 pick, Digimon Survive, 
release date unknown right now. And number 10, Eastward, release unknown right now. And that gives DC Rodaya a total score of 666, or an average of 66.6. .6. Mark of the Devil. <laughs> uh, so between the two of us, uh, I take home the victory this year in this weird-ass 2020 year. Now for our listener picks. Emperor Eric had Doom Eternal with an 89 on PC slash Xbox One. Halo Infinite delayed to 2021. Well, I'll, get, I'll get to why his sub picks are at the very end here because those pretty much got confirmed for an unknown release date after the fact. Or before any of his normal delays here did. Uh, number three, he had The Last of Us Part 2, with a 94 on PlayStation 4. Uh, number four, he had Microsoft Flight Simulator, with a 91 on PC. Number five, he had Animal Crossing New Horizons, with a 92 on Nintendo Switch. And did I forget to update that? Nope, nope, we're going to. Never mind, don't mind me, folks. Uh, number six, he had Cyberpunk 2077, with an 87 on PC. Number seven, he had Skull and Bones with an unknown release date. Number eight, Ghost of Tsushima with an 83 on PlayStation 4. Number nine, Minecraft Dungeons with a 78 on PlayStation 4. And number 10, Empire of Sin, which got a 65 on PC. His two sub picks, number one, Rainbow Six Quarantine, release unknown. And number two, Beyond Good and Evil 2, release unknown, which gave Emperor Eric a total score of 679, or an average of 67.9. Ozzy Legend. Alright, so Ozzy's first overall pick was Elden Ring. It got delayed, release unknown. So in its place went Assassin's Creed Valhalla which got an 84 on PlayStation 5 slash Xbox Series X. First time I'm saying that in this video. Kinda neat. Uh, number two, Hollow Knight Silkson, release unknown. Number three, Gods and Monsters, Immortals Phoenix, or Gods and Monsters, which would become Immortals Phoenix Rising, got an 82 on the Xbox Series X. Watch Dogs Legion, with a 76 on Xbox One. Spirit Fairer, which was an awesome pick here, got an 84 on PC. Number 6, 12 Minutes, Release Unknown. Number 7, Baldur's Gate 3, Release Unknown. It's early access, but that doesn't count. There's no real score for it. Uh, number 8, now we did, there was a contingency here in place where uh, he did select Demon Souls Remake. And we said that there had to be some fundamental change to it. There really wasn't. But I'm going to give it to Ozzy anyway. And it got a 92 on PlayStation 5. Number 9, Spelunky 2. It got a 91 on PC. Number 10, Dying Light 2. Release unknown. And Ozzy's other substitution pick was Sports Story with a release unknown. So that gave Ozzy a total score of 509 for an average of 50.9. Oof, sorry Ozzy. Brutal year for you in 2020 for the draft. Uh, so between the listeners, Eric did get the higher score. Uh, Ozzy, of course, selects games different from myself and DC Rodaya. So unfortunately, Ozzy, you got third there this year. So, that's it, folks. That's the results of our draft. You see them up there on the screen, or you have anyway, as I edited through this painfully. But what are we doing for 2021? Right? What are we going to do? Well, this year we are using FantasyCritic.game. I do believe I got that name right. Just need to double check here. Yes, FantasyCritic.games. And we are doing it on their selecting games this year. Uh, they go by Open Critic. Uh, there's a bit more rules in place where you can kind of drop games. Uh, the higher game scores, the more points you get. But I'll go over that 
in another video when we have our draft completely done. It's set to go out. And for that, uh, I could actually do updates onto it because we can pick additional games as the year goes on. So that's going to be fun. That's going to be awesome. It's a unique take. And this year, it's not just myself and DC Radia competing. No. This year we have Triple Threat. I was going to say chaos, but I'm trying to think of a word. Another T word. A terrific triple threat match. A terrific triple threat match between myself, DC Radia, and Ozzy Legend all competing. It's going to be fun. When our draft is finalized, I will put out a video on that draft. Uh, well, once again, ask you, the great listeners, for your picks as well. And until next time, folks, I've been Lord X. You have been awesome. Keep on being glitchy, and I'll see you next time. Bye.